friends, welcome back to our channel. So you're seeing half of the Costco Chronicle adults right now because the other adult is not currently available. So you just got me, Kate. If you've never been here before, we are a family of five. We have three kids, two and under, and we are Walt Disney World annual pass holders. We go about once a month now, sometimes a couple times a month. And we have an RV that we actually take down there and we generally stay off site. So in today's video, what we're gonna be showing you is everything we pack for when we go down to Disney World and stay off site in our RV. We have a travel trailer in case anybody was wondering. And in this video, I'm also gonna be doing a walkthrough of the inside of our travel trailer. The only thing I forgot to include during that walkthrough is on the outside of the travel trailer, we also have what's called a camp kitchen that has a mini fridge and it has a little flat top grill sink and all of that good stuff. So just use your imagination to fill in the blanks there. But I will do a full walkthrough of the entire inside of our camper for you and kind of give you an idea on how we set it up for success when going down to Disney. I'm also gonna be showing a full pack with me for the kids items and our park gear. I'll even be going through our diaper bags completely and how we set it up for going into the parks. I spared you guys the footage of me packing our clothes because adult clothes are kind of boring, but I walk through what we bring for gear and stuff like that so you guys can see all of that in the video. If this is your first video with us, first of all, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on the thumbnail and giving us a shot. This year we are on a mission to do every single attraction that Walt Disney World has to offer. So the bulk of our videos is gonna be centered around that, showing you guys the parks, our tips and tricks, how we use Genie Plus when we don't use Genie Plus and things like that. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel. We just recently released a Festival of the Arts video if you wanna peek into what a festival at Epcot looks like. And we also did a video where we went with the intention of my husband having the best night ever at Hollywood Studios and it didn't go exactly to plan. If you end up liking this content, we'd love it if you join us over here and subscribe. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, I made us a tentative packing list. I've been working on this for months now. Every time we go on a trip, I use Google Keep and I've been keeping track of the things we forget or the things that I know that we need. And I finally took some time to make an Excel ch checklist of all of the items and then we're gonna test it out this round. And obviously as kids grow up and stuff, these things change, but for now, this is gonna be our baseline. What I'm gonna start with now is I'm gonna start with the park gear because that's the stuff that I don't need to access now. So I'm gonna get that packed up. I'm probably also gonna check in on household goods, maybe even go get started on some pet food because we usually put that in like Ziploc bags type thing. Obviously food and then our clothing and toiletries is something we kinda have to wait on. But the kids clothes, most of this can get packed. Some of the stuff can't but I'm gonna get started, like I said, on the park gear, and then we'll probably move into pets and kids. I saw you from across the room. When our eyes met, I never knew that I could feel this way. All right, let's do a little status update on what I've been able to pack. So, and when I say pack, I've laid it out on this folding table. This is one of the techniques that I saw somebody share on Instagram. They get out a folding table. We actually have two. And this is where they stage items before putting in their permanent home. We have an RV. So we have totes that these are all gonna go in. And what I generally do is in my phone, I write what tote keeps what items. So like this is a clear tote that has a yellow top. So I usually will say like clear yellow top tote. We'll have park gear and kids items or something like that. That way I know if we get there and I need something immediately, I at least know what category. That's how I do it when we stay at a hotel. But at the RV, we're actually really fast about unpacking. So I haven't needed to do it for RV trips and that's what this one's gonna be. But if you happen to be staying in a hotel and doing a road trip and you're doing totes, or even if you wanna label what suitcase things are in, you know, like large gray suitcase keeps the kids items and the tech items or something like that. It seriously makes such a difference when you get there and you have something to reference. 
so getting into it over here I have my ears collection I picked you probably saw me um, selecting some ears we're gonna be there for three and a half days basically but I brought one two three four five because you know the wind calls my name once I'm there and I decide what I want I have this cute little headband that has little Mickey Mickey pearls on it I'll link the shop that I got this from down below they're a small shop on Etsy John just bought these for me for Valentine's Day. They're from the Play in the Parks collection and absolutely gorgeous. He also grabbed me these Evil Queen ones. I don't know if he was trying to say something secretly to me, you know. I've had these forever. I can't remember where they're from. I want to say a small shop. If I can find them, I will link them down below so they can, um, you know, get some recognition for their hard work. And then this is another small shop I follow on Instagram. Absolutely love these. This looks so cute with a like messy bun situation. So those are gonna be my ears. For a random gift, John bought me this lounge fly that we saw when we were there over Christmas. I was absolutely obsessed with that because this is my favorite Disney movie and it has my two favorite characters on it. Ray is on the back and Lewis is on the front. And this is like a, a pocket in here. It's just, it's literally perfection. So. He did a great job with that, so we'll get that packed up. Over here, let's see what else. We've got a popcorn bucket for park gear. I have my magic band, John's is in the car. While I was doing this, I came up with a couple extra things for my packing list. One is a silicone straw. If you're going to Disney, bring silicone straws because they do biodegradable straws at some locations, paper straws at others, and no straws whatsoever at others. So it's best to just have one of these. I will link it down below on hand for you. These uh, ponchos, I bought at like either Walmart or the dollar store forever ago. I almost never use them, but I always have them under the stroller just in case. So we usually have like five of these. I have more somewhere. I don't know where, but it, we at least have one now. And then let's get into the kids items. So over here, I have our sunblock. We have these little solar buddies systems let me open it and i can show you okay so this right here you put the sunblock inside the top part here and then sorry my lighting is awful here so you put the sunblock in the top and then in the bottom this right here just rolls right onto the kid's skin so it's way easier to apply i know a lot of people do like the foundation brush hack or whatever but to me this is all contained in one thing so it's just a little bit easier i have two of them and that's more of a summer item, but even when it's winter, the sun is still there. So we keep that going. And then this is the sunblock that I have for the kids. It's an SPF 50. We just got these at Costco. So I'm going to keep one in the RV. One's going to be kept at home. I also got this at Costco. These are our favorite snack cup canisters, this brand right here, Whiskware. So I got a Mickey and Pluto set. It's got like all of like the Fab Five, like there's Goofy, Donald, the other set I think has Mickey and Minnie on it, or maybe it's Daisy and Minnie. And then I have, this is the one we started out with, Star Wars. What's cool with this is you can put any type of snacks that you want in there, keeps it from getting stale, easy to pack this in a backpack. This actually fits directly in this backpack right here, so that's what I usually do. And in the top, he has these like round crackers that are individually wrapped and they fit perfect right in the top so the crackers don't get smushed. I have this awesome bottle wash station that we bring to the parks. And basically you can put, you know, nipples and things like that over here. It's got the bottle brush here and it's also got the little nipple brush or if you need to clean like a straw. So I bring one of these little toiletry travel silicone thingies and this is full of bottle soap. So when we're in the parks, we have nice, convenient, easy to wash items. We also have back there disposable placemats and bibs. These are really cute. They're like a coloring one. I wanna say I got them at Target. I'll try and link whatever I can, but I got those. Oh, maybe it was Amazon. This has more Ziplocs and then some disposable bibs, maybe even some ponchos, who knows. We've got diapers galore. We have three kids in diapers. We have a two-year-old, twin 13-month-olds. So we've got overnight and regular diapers in size fives and sevens. I have four packs of wipes, two dog poop bags. Instead of getting diaper genies or travel diaper genies or any of that, the dog poop bags, buy them right on Amazon. They're super cheap. You can put the diaper in it and then throw it away in a regular trash and it does not stink whatsoever. Moving over to this other side of the table, I have a bunch of medication for the kids. Teething meds. This is like vapor rub stuff just in case they get a cough or anything while we're there. These are like vapor wipes for their nose. 
I've got uh, some elderberry type fake cold medicine. We've got some Tylenol, infant Tylenol. And then I have dishes for the kids. So this is kind of like a plate for breakfast and stuff. These are bowls that we can put stuff in for the twins. And these I love because they come with a lid. So if we want to like meal prep, if we know we're going to get back late or something and need dinner ready for the kids or breakfast or whatever, these are awesome because they have like an airtight lid on them. I also have like a washcloth for bathing them. I have a crib sheet. We already have one in the RV, so this is just going to be a backup. And then I have this like packing cube. This is kind of like our restaurant bag. We don't go to the restaurants much while we're there, but in case we need to sit down to eat, it's got bibs, it's got placemats, it's got little toys that are easy to store. It's got a snack cup to keep them entertained. And then I have these awesome little pop-it cards that they love, and I can just give them each one. This is from Melissa and Doug, I want to say. And that I keep stored in another packing cube so I can pull it out all at once. And then I also have one of these little indestructible books. So this is kind of just our last resort uh, bag that we keep under the stroller if we end up in a restaurant or somewhere where we need to entertain them for a extended amount of time. I'm going to get going on getting them into a tote. You guys will be watching me have a good time play Tetris here. friends what we have here is our diaper bag situation for when we go to the parks i'm gonna get these set up because when we generally get to the rv park if we want to just rush out to the park i don't want to have to stop and pack the diaper bags so this is what we call our express diaper bag in here we pretty much just have diapers wipes and diaper cream sometimes there's like a few other things in there that we'll go through but for the most part that's what we keep in this one in this one we keep a backup of more diapers and then a bunch of other things. So we're gonna start with refilling the express diaper bag. These will be linked down below. Some of my favorite things about this is there's actually a changing pad on the back of this. In the front pocket, I keep some antibacterial right here. And then we also usually keep teething medicine, any cold medicine, um, things like that in there. I love how flexible this is as well because it's very generous with the space. So we have plenty of wipes in here. I don't need that. Looks like we have backup, a backup pacifier. We have diaper cream at the bottom. This is almost empty. We'll just use that up tomorrow. And then in the back here, looks like we have a Mickey Mouse sticker. So that's great. We usually have Ziplocs in here. So I am going to go grab a couple because I like to have those in here. Okay, so I'm putting some Ziplocs in there. That's just for a variety of things. And then also some poop bags. So then that way... If we change a poopy diaper, we're not stinking up an entire bathroom for all of the other guests at Disney. Okay, so in this bag, what I usually keep is two to three diaper changes per kid. So we have a size five, a size five, so that would be two, size seven, size seven, that would be two for that kid. Okay, so we have twins, twins, and big brother. So we have two diaper changes for all kids. So we're good there. I like to have the wipes on top. That way if we have like a spill or something, they're easy to access. So that diaper bag is good to go. So this one um, also comes with a changing pad here. In the front zipper pocket, we have another backup pacifier. We have a bib in case we go into a restaurant. We have some um, Clorox wipes, some more teething medicine. And it looks like my husband has a couple cords in there. Now this one, we had shoved a bunch of stuff in here because my husband took our oldest to the doctor. So some of this stuff is not park related. Um, so what I love about this bag is how it opens from the side like that and zips all the way down to the bottom so you can access here. So we've got a snack cup. This is a set of toys. We'll definitely be bringing this because these are so cute. This is from Love Every. If you've been thinking about getting a gift for any child in your life, a Love Every subscription is a great one. We've got some snacks here, more snacks. These are some toys. 
more toys. You guys saw this earlier in the video. We have a fruit pouch. Wipes. We have a big daddy thing of wipes in this one. This is probably smashed to smithereens at this point. Okay. And then this has diaper creams and stuff like that in it. This one I gotta go through actually. And then these are the diapers, so we'll deal with these in a minute. So we have the Petunia Pickle Bottom. I don't remember what they call this. It's like Mixer. Something about Mixer. So anyways, that sits in the bottom of there. And then it has these little packing cubes, basically, that fit nicely in there. So this one, I'm sad to say I need to update because our children have the audacity of growing. Actually, these might be okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, 12... This one, because this is like bamboo pajamas, these are pretty flexible, so this still fits at least one of my kids. This is good for my oldest, because that's a 3T. He's in between 3T and 4T right now. And then this guy, I just want to make sure it's not 9 to 12. Yeah, this one's 9 to 12, so this has to go. Okay, this one's 12 to 18, so they're in between 12 to 18 and 18 to 24 right now. But those are just backup outfits. We thankfully haven't had to really dip into those often. We're always just about 15 minutes away from the park, so we don't, you know, if something happened, we could always run back pretty quick. So that fits in there nice, nicely. Put the diaper cream stuff on top. Now let's, do, let's take a look at the diaper inventory. So we got five, 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 seven, and seven. So two, yep, so two diaper changes. That works for me. So between both of these bags, we have four diaper changes for all of the kids, which I think is more than enough. And then we get the wipes there. I am going to go ahead and put these guys in this back. So there's a nice back pouch over here that I keep like a burp cloth. We don't really use those anymore. I'll put the other pouch in here. I also have more Ziploc bags here. I'll stick those in there. And then we can put the snacks right on top. And we have a collapsible snack cup for the parks. So I'm not gonna take this one because it takes up too much room. And that is fully packed. There's also, in case anybody was wondering, one more zipper pouch on this side. So if you wanted to keep like a wet bag or more Ziplocs over here, you could. Seems like we have another backup pacifier there. So those are our diaper bags for the parks. They are ready to go. Next up, I just want to discuss, because we're about to pack them away, the snack type things that we bring for the kids. So I have these fruit and vegetable pouches from Costco. We love these because there's minimal ingredients in them. So for a convenience item, I feel great about it. I'm also gonna be bringing these little crunchy thingies. These are great just to keep their attention in the park. I also have these XO snackers. And then we have a good amount of teether crackers in there. That should be plenty for the three of them for a few days. If you're not subscribed to my other channel, I have a full meal prep going down on that one for everything that we meal prepped for our Disney World road trip. I always have that channel linked down below if you'd like to check that out. All right, you guys, hopefully this is a judgment-free zone, but this is the pile of kids' clothes that I need to deal with now. I'm going to sort this by size and by what I can keep in the house that I do not need to take to Disney and what needs to come with us to Disney. It's very difficult being a Floridian sometimes with planning because some days it starts out in the 30s and ends at like 75 degrees. So um, layers are obviously necessary and kids run really cold. Like what I would accept for me is not what I would accept for my children. So it's a little difficult, but we um, are just gonna bring them layers and hope for the best. So here we go. You say that you're from out of town
in the primary bedroom right now. We had a comforter on this bed that was beautiful and it was so pretty and it was white and it made the pillows pop and it was awesome. And then our dog shredded it. So that was a really great time for us. And um, we have not replaced it yet. We are in the mindset right now of just trying to make things work with what we already have. So we have this big blanket and it's fine. It's cold right now, so it's great. I also got these linen sheets from Macy's a few months ago. And this will be the first time we'll be using those, so I'm excited. Over here we have an extra fuzzy blanket because what ends up happening is the dog steals our blanket. So we end up having to have a backup. In here, this is my closet. So I love this organizer here. I just basically shove all my clothes in there without any real rhyme or reason. It's kind of like shirts stay together, bottoms stay together. I also have a pair of RV slippers that I keep in here and some lotion. This is the TV remote. And then up here is more storage. So I generally keep like my purse up there because I don't bring my purse to the parks. And we keep other things up there, um, like, you know, extra ears and all that good stuff. Over here, John usually keeps sweatshirts and then sometimes he'll keep uh, his backpack and things like that up there. This is John's side of the closet. He installed like motion detector lights, which we love. And he has the same uh, setup as me. He's just got shirts together, bottoms together, underwear, socks, and then his jeans are at the bottom. We both have lots of storage on the side of the bed. We also have a hamper for our dirty clothes. On that side of the bed is where the cat stays. And then we just have like my sneakers in here right now. So I don't forget them because last time I almost forgot them. John mounted a TV in here, which is awesome. And then we also have this new fan, kind of a new addition, and it makes such a difference. It's only 10 inches in diameter, but wow, it makes a difference because we don't get a lot of circulation back here and we keep the door closed because of the kids. So that's that. Um, over here, this is the trash area. You'll notice we have it baby-proofed because hashtag toddlers. Um, this is where we keep, let me just open one of these. Boom. We just keep like extra backups of, you know, coasters, uh, Ziplocs, utensils, can opener. Down here, I think, is plastic utensils, measuring cups, dish towels. This one is just like a plethora of random kitchen utensils we might need. Okay. This one is probably messy, so take off your judgment pants, okay? Um, it's not that bad, I guess. So pots and pans, baking items at the bottom. This has a full oven. Well, I don't know if it's called full. It's like an RV oven, but it's a decent size. Fits a half sheet. And then you can also take out this if you need more room. It's a three burner stove. This stays down so you have extra counter space or you can flip it up when you're cooking. Uh, we have a microwave up here. We have this beautiful cutting board that I designed and engraved. I love that logo. Up here is probably also a mess. That's not that bad either. We just kind of have like a plethora of things up here. We got like a drying mat, my spices, some pa um, paper plates, cutting board, plastic cups, and Ziplocs, and then reusable type plates, but... We're mostly eating on the go when we're staying here. I also have some of the kids stuff and then cups for us as well, like coffee cups. We have this paper towel holder, so there's not as much on the counter. Right now, everything is inside the sink, but generally the setup is I have kind of the cleaning supplies up in this corner over here. And then this is like our bottle washing station situation. John just has a couple waters out on the counter, but that'll go away. This is our fridge. We haven't loaded this up yet. But it's actually a very decent sized fridge for an RV. So I absolutely love this fridge. I like how it's organized too. And then it's got a, you know, a big freezer up top here. And this should be getting loaded pretty soon. We have our Disney items up there. What else do you guys want to see? Okay, this is our pantry. I love the pantry in this RV. This is clearly broken. I have these awesome baskets from Target. And I just basically put like kids snacks in this one, our snacks in this one. We used to have to keep formula in here, but we are finally away from formula. Just any of the random things like that stay down here. And then up top, I have a toaster 
and a rice cooker. We usually keep extra water up here. And then this one, I usually do dried goods. So I usually do like pasta, rice, whatever we're packing. And then over here, I usually do breads and stuff like that. Sometimes snacks. We have a booster seat for Oliver in here. And then this is like all of the kids items that we're going to be bringing with us. So John also has like the pack and plays broken down. And then this is the diaper bag. The express diaper bag will stay in the truck with us while we're driving, but this one stays here. And so for the pack and plays, like I said, he has those broken down. So then that way when we're driving, it's not moving around. And then as soon as we pull in, we open up one and drop the two babies in it. And then this will get put probably up top or on the ground. And then back here, this is called the bunkhouse. This is the kids' room. So in here, we have another uh, closet organizer. I don't have any of the kids' clothes in it right now because we um, we just packed it in a suitcase this time. But I do have a couple backup outfits in here for colder weather. So that's in there. And then down here is where we keep all of their diapers and wipes, which we haven't filled yet either. And then I have some backup swaddles in the back. We also have an extra cozy blanket in case we need it. The bottom just stays empty. And then we have like this little basket down here. So we'll probably put, like if we were to stay somewhere long-term, we would put toys in there, but we're never really out long enough. And then these used to be when we were living in it. Oh, I found a dinosaur. Um, when we were living in this, this was actually where we stored all of the diapers. So it was perfect. And then over here is another storage, boom. And then this part right here is more storage. So you could easily put like baskets and stuff right here. We do have this insulation on the window because the bunkhouse part is a little difficult to control the temperature. There is an AC in here, but we just always struggle with it. So there's a couple lights here. Boom. And this is also a USB port. We actually mount the sound machine right here for our oldest. This is his mini crib. What we do is we just actually pull this out right to the middle. And then when we're driving, the slide comes in. So John leaves this under here. It works out perfect. We have a high chair. We still have two boppies, but we haven't used boppies in months now. So those are just kind of stored here. This would be the bunk bed if we had older kids, but for now it's just storage. We've got, these are all the kids' clothes, blankets for the parks, and then the other tote will be going up here. So that is the bunkhouse. And let's see, is there anything else you guys need to see? Oh, inside here more storage like this this rv has storage galore this is where we usually put the bottles and the sippy cups while we're here so easy access when we had the baby breson machine which we no longer need now that was right here if you're living in this that would be a great spot for a little coffee machine because it's it's going to be narrow though and then this right here is probably a hot mess that's no, not that bad this is where we keep like all of the pet stuff and John keeps like his tech stuff. I call him the IT department. That's where he keeps that. And down here, I think we just have, oh, nothing apparently. We used to um, have a battery system, like a uh, organization one, but he probably doesn't want to leave it in here because of the different temperatures. I already showed you that. John has a Wi-Fi camera. So when, we're, when we are at the parks, we can keep an eye on Stella. I showed you everything there. I oh, the last thing is the bathroom. So the bathroom, we eventually want to get rid of this towel hanging system. We want to get, there's a, like a dead space up here. So we want to get some type of system. We had tried to do the command hooks, but they fell pretty quickly. We also have these little baskets here for storage, but with us not living in it, we, we rarely need that. And it has a little toilet down here cat litter with a litter mat underneath it this is a door to access outside so this rv does have two doors we keep our toilet paper on one of these little thingamajiggers john installed this recently for um you know toothbrush and stuff like that and in here i already have some of our toiletries that kind of stay in here i have this little organizer that i like because i can put smaller items in there without them like getting knocked around we just have like random stuff in here Underneath, I have a really cool first aid kit and some peroxide we just put in here. And then this is where I keep my toiletries and my, what is that thing called? Hair dryer. So 
that is that this is the shower it's got a nice skylight above it it's actually a very roomy shower for an rv in my opinion so yeah that is our rv this is a coachman i want to say it's a 323 bdhs but if i'm wrong i'll put the correct thing on the screen the layout is at the front of the rv is the primary bedroom and at the back of the rv is the bunkhouse oh i didn't show you guys this so we have the kids this is a camera so we can keep an eye on the baby monitor this right here is actually a couch that goes over here or can be a bed but for us it's just stored up here this was a mattress pad that we had and didn't end up liking it at all and so it's turned into just staying stored in here because we don't have room in our actual house right now because we're redoing we're reorganizing our garage that was a lot of information but anyways that is it that is the full tour of our coachman and how we have it set up the twins the twins sleep right here so we put pack and play pack and play they sleep right here we're getting them to the point where they're probably going to come back here soon and what we'll do is have like oliver's crib here and then two pack and plays right here and then that way we will have a lot more floor space because that's the only problem is like sneaking to the bathroom when you have two pack and plays right here it's a little difficult but we definitely make it work we love it it's a great way to get out on the road and i just could not be more grateful this is where john mounts the twins camera so it looks down right on them and then we can watch them from the bedroom. All right, you guys, thank you so much for checking out this video and spending some time with us. If you have any questions about our packing strategies or specific product questions, please feel free to leave that in the comment section below. I will have as many things as I could think of linked in the description box, but if I miss something, just holler at me and I'll be happy to get that for you. And of course, feel free to ask any other questions or let us know any videos you'd like us to cover going forward. Thank you so much again and have a magical day. Bye.